Well, they need some pace on the outside. They're going to use Mueller and Gutierrez to really push the line, create space for Shakir to receive the ball and then distribute. As for NYCFC, it's also about the high press, creating some turnovers. Cushing didn't like what he saw from the Nashville game. Jason Pereira going to lead the line. Magno up high pushing as well. But then it's about the Sandman, number six, James Sands, returning to NYCFC and back in the starting 11. We're all set for kickoff, and we are underway from downtown Chicago at Soldier Field as the Fire kick off their 2023 campaign against an NYCFC side looking to bounce back after an opening day defeat in Music City. 2-0 loss against Nashville last weekend. Delighted you are with us for this match. Kevin Egan alongside Kinder D. St. Auburn. Rafa Shios. Piercing ball looking for the feet of Shabilko. We have seen a lot of rain here in Chicago throughout the day. Lovely ball through. What a pass that is for Gabby Pereira. Bearing down on goal. A decent effort. Takes a deflection. Corner NYCFC. She hosts, sees it just a second too late. We'll look at the speed and the timing of the pass. For him to be in an onside position comes right across the back line. Individual goals, my individual assists. It's about winning games and finding success for this team. Oh, chance here. Shabilko. Casper Shabilko still has it. Back inside, shoots. Just over the bar. But what a glorious chance that was for Chicago. Ezra Hendrickson knows it. That has to be a goal. I mean, you are basically on a breakaway. The center backs were split out wide. Magno. Tylus Magno's been everywhere here in the first 30 minutes. Pellegrini. Brought to ground, free kick, NYCFC. It's just silly from Pineda. I mean, he three defenders converge on him. And he puts it not even on frame over the crossbar. So I think both teams will be pleased. Chances created. But at the end of the day, we know you got to find a way to put it away. Oh, fancy footwork at the back for Spencer Ritchie. The fans love that. Parks winning it back in midfield for New York City. Good step from Suke. NYCFC have it back, though. Scrappy, sloppy play with a false kindly now for Gabby Pereira. Oh, what a goal! What a finish! Spectacular strike from Gabby Pereira. Happening, he picks his head up and he knows exactly where he needs to put that ball to beat the goalkeeper, to curl it around Spencer Ritchie. He's got 1v1 here. Shihos was just coming over to help, just coming over to close that gap. Maybe a little double team. Talos Magno had made the run through. And Navarro just doesn't get tight enough, and it allows Pereira to exactly pick out, curling the ball. Chris Mueller now back in his hometown of Chicago. Oh, crunching tackle. And the fans are on their feet. And Pellegrini in Montreal's best ever Major League Soccer season last campaign. I'm going to figure out where the Fountain of Youth is because I think he's found it. Yeah. He's found a way to be effective. He's on the pitch here in the second half of Chicago Fire. What can they do to get some of those offensive chances and capitalize once again here? Couldn't find the back of the net as often as they would have liked last season. Just 39 goals scored. Second fewest in Major League Soccer. You lose John Durant to the Premier League, but you bring in Kai Kamara. And Kutsias, young Greek striker as well. Chance here now. NYCFC. Oh. Can they put it away? The answer is no. Spencer Ritchie. Chicago just can't find a way to get out of pressure right there. And the ball breaks right through the middle there. Shakiri runs over the ball. Brought to ground once more, another free kick for Chicago. The concern, though, on the far side of the field for NYCFC. Miguel Navarro. Martins in the way. Falls kindly. Jimenez! I mean, he strikes it clean, too. He lets the ball. This comes off the head of Rodriguez. He 
lets it drop just perfectly, takes it out of the air with the left boot. Wow. Kai Kamara wants this one on the back post. He's asking for it. Shakiri takes. Looks for Kai Kamara. Finds him. Kamara back across goal. Falls Kylie. The strike is a good one. It deflects in. And Chicago are level in the 75th minute. Herbers with the hit. And the crowd go wild in the Windy City. He's asking for this the whole time. He wants it up high. He wants it on the back post. An unselfish play. He has it back across into traffic. It looks like there's going to be clearance, but not clear enough. And Herbers, what a strike. Yes, it takes a deflection off of Talos Magno. But at the end of the day, who's to say he wouldn't find the back of the net anyway? He put out Beautiful play. It's a lovely one-two. Great ball across. And Thiago Andrade not too far away from giving NYCFC the lead. Corner kick to the away side. Goal-saving tackle there, I think, over the online. In swinger. Flicked on. Big time chance. Thiago Martins flicked on by Keaton Parks. Oh, how does Chano not oh, get Chanel, over that? Yeah. Holy cow. His feet are planted. He's on the wrong side. Watching for a corner here. The crowd are willing Chicago forward. The outswinger, it's a deep one. Back across, go! What a chance! It's there! But it's not going to count. But the pressure from Chicago, a great ball in. This goes all the way to that back post. Keaton Parks rises high. Maybe gets a little bit on it. It was tough to tell from that first one. When they went up for the header, did it just go off of the Chicago player or did it deflect off of? Well, was Sheehos in an offside position here for the first play? That's the big question, I think, because I think in that moment, Kindra... No, he's offside. Santi Rodriguez runs the ball out of play, and with that, the referee brings an end to a pulsating encounter at Soldier Field. End-to-end, -end, a frantic match. And both sides will feel 